Super Mario 3D Land is a Nintendo 3DS video game featuring interpreted level contrast nostalgia level design with the final book plate of great puzzle elements. They're easy to figure out with a wooden ladle spoon spiking up the block face template really well. You get some wind up worlds such as green tackling lands, underground pipelines, underwater beyond cult wards, snow peak valleys, bursty tear wraps, pack stuff, sky lifting chaos, poison bolts of death gas, and the final lava world filled with hell daggers. If that's not enough for you, collect all the gold wrapping star coins to satisfy your needs and he has special worlds to take on. This game is packed with content. I love how you're at the final castle and you think the final boss is here, but don't realize something's up. Going to make you cleverly think, now that was great. I love Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U because of the major hit point soundtrack, but this game really takes a privilege to trick up fascinating stage designs into old familiar projects with new and exciting gimmicks. The music is generic Mario remixes with an excursion of adjustable hugging melodies that are upbeat enough to get you through the main leadline game. The controls where I have an issue, it's not the game's fault, so I won't count on my review score, but that damn control stick on the 3DS made me rage drastically and peppermint bombs of spanking tantrums. Not a good way to set yourself on raging roast fires. The bosses are generic as well, but I was surprised at the total end where it was different. So that was a nice formula change to the flattened boss wave mode. The enemies are star lifting creativity because they have new ones as well. And that spinning rotating directional dragon block thingy, well, well done Nintendo. You also have Goombas and other Mario, Mario anthology enemies from the previous game where the charm is there if you just like the old yelling lot enemies to stand still your bunstone drill stick. Toad houses are back with a nice sweet lump of magical mistiness where you collect an item and leave out of the house to continue your legacy adventure. What a nice styling touch. Some sensitive eyes won't like the 3D, just turn it off. You can still enjoy the game where 3D isn't there. So for what I played, this game deserves a 10 slash 10 right away. It's rubber frame world and level design with package extra content for whether your sun dried faces up into happy wisdom trees is a shocker that I didn't suspect from a Mario game. If I had to say this, this is probably one of the best Mario 3D platformers ever. It's way better than Mario 3D World if we are talking about fun gameplay and very creative sack plucking stage visual design. Pick up this game, it's worth every side scrolling penny. Love the Burrito Master.